G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, it's a bit of a wet day in Adelaide and I'm doing a bit of maintenance. And one of the things I had to fix up was this uh, center punch. Now, center punch is a great thing to have. You can get the fixed ones and you can get the automatic like this. These are those automatic ones that they, they click off and automatically spring back and mark. They're very, very good when they work. They're excellent. And when you buy them, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. And mine was working from from the go-get, or the get-go, or whichever way you want to say it. But then it got intermittent, and and then after all, it just stopped working altogether. And I've looked on forums, and there's a lot of people got the same problem, and they procrastinate and hum and ha, and there's all these suggestions on how to fix them, and no one seems to do much good with them. Well, they're actually very, very easy to fix if you just look inside and figure out how they work. We won't go down that path as far as how they work. You can figure that out for yourself. But I'll show you what you have to do to actually restore your automatic click-off function. I've already done it on this, so I can't show you me doing it, but I'll tell you how. Unscrew the end. This end here. Can you see? Oh, a bit hard to see with my big hand away. OK, this comes off. And there's a spring in there. Don't worry about that. The bit we want is in here. It just slides out. It's a little pin, a little piston, and on one end it's got a hole, and on the other end it's got a cone. Now the cone matches with the, the spring, and the problem is the hole, is the, well, this end here. And what's happened, we, if you look at it, you'll see that the finish on it is going to be pretty RS, you know, they really do a pretty horrible job of finishing, finishing these off. And what happens is that that's the little step that another pin that's in the front bit has to engage against and then it'll just snap over and drop in uh, when the pressure on the tip gets gets enough and that's how you get your, your click action. All you have to do to fix this whole problem is just run this little area here around the hole, run it over an oil stone, just rub it on an oil stone like that, clean it up, I mean, if it's really bad, you might have to just touch it on the lid, as you say, you know, just to get... Because mine was pretty bad, I tell you. And I actually did do that. I touched it on the lid, But then, yeah, just get your oil stone with some oil on it and just refinish the, refinish the end so that it's nice and smooth and shiny. And you'll see there's like a little brass centre in there as well. You want this all just dead flat. Once you've done that, you put it back together and I can... Guarantee this, well, pretty much guarantee that this will work. So I put one back together and we'll just perfect those. So she's working like a, like a charm now, and that's all there was to it. So, anyway, there's a quick and dirty video just to show you how you can easily get these things going. That's the problem. It has to be the problem because it's obviously a click off, a click off issue, you know, and that's, that's the two parts of your click off mechanism. So, yep, reface that, you're good to go. All right, that's it from me. It's getting near lunchtime, and even though it's cold, I think it's time for a beer. See you next time. Cheers.